South Africa joins the international community to celebrate the 23rd anniversary of World AIDS Day today. It's also a significant day for South Africa as they unveil the new HIV and AIDS, SDI and TB National Strategic Plan for 2012 to 2016, driven by the South African National AIDS Council. This after extensive consultation with a range of stakeholders. World AIDS Day is also an international health day that seeks to raise awareness on issues pertinent to the prevention of HIV infection around the globe. The theme for this year continues on last year's theme of getting to zero. Zero new HIV infections, zero discrimination, zero AIDS deaths. Various activities are scheduled around the country to make people aware of the disease that have affected 70 million people around the globe. But in South Africa, how far have we, have we come? Are we winning or are we losing the war against AIDS? And how far is the world from getting a vaccine against the dreaded disease? Now, from our parliamentary studio this morning, we have Professor Likeness Simbai, who is the head of HIV, AIDS, STIs and the TB program at the Human Sciences Research Council. Very good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Eben. And then here in Johannesburg, we have the General Secretary of the Treatment Action Campaign, who is Anela Yawa. Good morning, Anela. Thank good you. Good morning to you and good morning to the viewers. If I can start in Cape Town uh, with, uh, with you, Professor. Professor Simbai, 23 World AIDS Days now, later. What are your remarks on this day and where we are? Uh, thank you for your question, Eben. Um, overall, there has been tremendous progress uh, in terms of uh, our response to the yeah. epidemic. Uh, particularly amongst young people, uh, they, we have observed, particularly in sub-Saharan Africa, that there has been a decline in new infections overall amongst young people. Uh, but more positively, uh, the fact that we have so many people, uh, not only worldwide, but in particular in South Africa who are receiving treatment, shows that uh, we, we are making considerable progress. Anil, if I can come to you in Joburg, Treatment Action Campaign, you guys have been very active the last couple of decades really in this fight. Where are you now and, and, and what is your view on World AIDS Day today? Thanks, my brother. One, where are we? In, in, in South Africa, we strongly believe that we are getting there. However, our fight against HIV and AIDS is not over. Because uh, at the present moment, we are still seeing new infections taking place, more especially amongst young girls aged between 14 to 24 years, which poses a great threat to us. And also, as, as TAC today, we are celebrating ULA's Day, commemorating our comrades and citizens of this country who died because of the unavailability of access to treatment. So TAC will be celebrating 10 years of antiretrovirals in the public health system, and also will be having a reunion of all the activists who were in the forefront in our struggle for access to treatment. That's what we will be doing today. Professor Simbai, I'd like to come back to you. South Africa is currently sitting at around 400,000 new infections per annum. How do you view that number and why is it still so high? Well, I think one way of looking at it is where we are coming from. Uh, that number is considerably lower than it was in the past. And indeed, as Anela has indicated, we're still seeing a fairly large number of, of new infections among young women in particular. But relatively to where we were, let's say, five or so years ago, we, we are making progress. It is not enough. If we are to, to beat the disease, we need to get to zero infections. Uh, the problem is also particularly amongst uh, older uh, folks, particularly men. Uh, if, if we are really make to, uh, to, to, make, to end the epidemic, 
we will need to be able to reduce infections across the board. We're talking about 400,000 new infections. How do you see South Africa bringing this number down annually, Anele, or what would you like to see happen here in South Africa over the next decade? One, as people of South Africa, both government, civil society, and, 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 and responsible citizens, we should begin to say each and every day is a World AIDS Day. How we do it at tech? At tech, we've got branches across the country. We've got members who are always on the streets, mobilizing communities, doing door-to-door, -door, educating people around HIV and AIDS, why it is important for people to adhere to prevention and also use condom. And also we educate communities around the science of HIV and AIDS. However, in that process, we encourage the public as to say, let's go out to our clinics and do HIV counseling and testing so that we can be able to know our status. But on top of that, we've, as I've said, the vulnerable group is, 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 is the young girls at the age of 15 to 24 years. What does that mean? In South Africa, we've got a high number of teenage pregnancies. It means that they, yeah. these, these vulnerable groups are not using e prevention. It means then we need to sit down with government, parents, school government bodies, and begin to say it is important for us to distribute condoms in schools. It is important for us within the curriculum to make sure that we bring on board e -E -E education around sex and sexuality so that these learners can be able to yeah. begin to take ownership about their lives and being responsible. Professor Simbai, we, we're touching here on, on the ABC message, really, which is abstinence, being faithful, and condomizing. How do you view that? You're talking about condoms in schools and the like. Is this message working, and is it not maybe an idea to, to change gears or to go with a different strategy? Thank, thanks for that question, Eben. I, I think uh, following uh, improved access to, treat, to treatment, that for a while it seems where we moved our eye off the prevention angle. Uh, there is no choice but to go to those basics. It is important for young people to delay the onset of, of sex. It is important for us, uh, for, for us to reduce the number of sexual partners, and more importantly, it is indeed important for people to continue to use condoms. But in addition to that, there are other new interventions that are available. And by the way, treatment itself can be seen as prevention because it does lower the viral load and reduces the chances of people transmitting the virus to, to their sexual partners. There is also male circumcision something that we are trying to implement in the country. Uh, if we carry on along this path, I'm positive that uh, in the near future, the course of the epidemic uh, will change uh, for good. I want to come to, I want to, come to you now, Anela, and, to, and talk about where you guys are uh, as the TAC. Uh, we see media reports that the TAC, the TAC is is in difficulty. Some people talk about the demise of the TSC. How do you view that? Um, and, and also then, what, what are the major obstacles in your efforts in dealing with or fighting HIV AIDS? One, one TAC might have financial problems come 2015, but at the, pro at the present moment, financially, we are still fine. However, as TAC, we have, st we have since initiated a global crowdfunding campaign whereby we are making a public appeal to the citizens of the world, business people and, 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 and other donors as to say, here is an organization that has made wonders in South Africa. Here is an organization that managed to put pressure both to government as well as to pharmaceutical companies in making sure that more than two, more, more than two million lives are on ARVs. However, at the present moment as TAC, we strongly, we strongly believe that there is a long road ahead of us in the fight against HIV and AIDS. And the only way for us to be able to combat the battle uh, uh, around HIV and AIDS, as well as 
maintain adherence to treatment. One is to make sure that we fix the public health systems that are falling apart almost throughout all the provinces. Yeah. Our health system is, 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 is in tatters. When you go to the provinces, what, all what you will find, there are no enough doctors, there are no enough nurses, mm. there are no ambulances, the health facilities are too small, there is no way whereby people, all of them can get inside because it becomes infectious. Yeah. So without addressing these issues, it will be difficult for us as the country to be able to combat uh, the, the, the spread of HIV as well as tuberculosis at large. Final remarks uh, in Cape Town, uh, Professor Simbaya. I want to talk to you about South Africans locally. Let's, let, well, let's touch on South Africans' attitudes towards people living with HIV AIDS. And then if you can maybe put a number on how long do you think before we get to a global vaccine against this disease? Thanks. Uh, in, in terms of attitudes towards people living with HIV AIDS, uh, from the surveys that we have been undertaking over the past years, we have noted generally uh, an increase in, in the positive attitudes towards people living with HIV. That is not to say there is no stigma and discrimination. We do hear still of, of some cases uh, of people who are discriminated upon. And of course, the sad thing is that this happens even at home, uh, apart from within communities where people living with HIV live, uh, and let alone at work, uh, as well as uh, in, in health facilities. So we need to maintain the fight against uh, stigma and discrimination and basically what, what I often say is to, to put oneself in the shoes of somebody living with HIV and say, how would you like to be treated? So basically there is a need actually uh, of uh, reducing uh, stigma and discrimination against people living with HIV. Uh, in terms of a vaccine, uh, one is pleased to note that there are a number of studies that are going on. Uh, even here in, within South Africa, there is, uh, the MRC did announce that there is going to be um, a new trial which will test uh, a vaccine which is based on other vaccines that have been tried elsewhere, in particular in Thailand. Um, there are other initiatives. There are people who are developing molecules uh, of, of substances which have the potential to be developed, but that process might take longer. So th there, there is work going on across the world as we speak, uh, trying to find a vaccine against HIV. Thank you very much for joining us today, uh, Professor Lachner Simbai who is the head of HIV's STIs in the TB program at the Human Sciences Research Council. Thank you very, uh, very much for joining us. That's from Parliament and, of course, joining us here from the Treatment Action Campaign, the General Secretary, Anele Yawa. Thank you for joining us Thank this you. morning. Let's